Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Concrete, one of the most ubiquitous building materials in modern construction, has a fascinating history that stretches back thousands of years. Its development and evolution reflect the ingenuity of human civilization, adapting natural resources into a durable, versatile material. The journey of concrete begins in ancient times, where early forms of the substance were used by civilizations like the Egyptians, Romans, and even earlier societies. However, the concrete we recognize today has undergone significant transformations, driven by technological advancements, changing needs, and the desire to build bigger, stronger, and more resilient structures. The earliest evidence of concrete-like materials dates back to 6,500 BC in the region now known as Syria and Jordan. It is believed that the Nabataean traders, who lived in what is now southern Syria and northern Jordan, created rudimentary concrete to construct structures that could withstand harsh desert conditions. This early form of concrete was made by combining crushed limestone with water, resulting in a basic form of cement. However, it was the Egyptians who took the next significant step forward, around 2500 BC, by using a lime and gypsum mixture to create what many historians consider the precursor to modern concrete. They used this material extensively in the construction of their monumental structures, including the pyramids, which still stand as testaments to its durability. The real leap in concrete technology came with the Romans, who developed a material far more advanced than what had been used before. Roman concrete, or opus cementicium, was made by mixing lime with volcanic ash, known as pozzolana, and aggregates such as pumice or broken stones. This mixture, when combined with water, created a chemical reaction that allowed the material to harden underwater, a property that revolutionized construction. The Romans were able to build structures like the Pantheon, with its massive dome, and aqueducts that still remain in remarkably good condition after nearly two millennia. Their use of concrete also extended to roads, bridges, and harbors, demonstrating its versatility and strength. Roman builders understood the potential of concrete and utilized it to construct massive, complex structures that were previously impossible. However, with the fall of the Roman Empire, the knowledge of concrete was largely lost for centuries. The use of concrete saw a decline during the Middle Ages in Europe, where stone and brick became the dominant building materials. It wasn't until the 18th century that concrete began its resurgence, primarily in response to the growing needs of the Industrial Revolution. In 1756, British engineer John Smeaton rediscovered the hydraulic properties of lime while working on the construction of the Eddystone Lighthouse. He experimented with different mixtures and found that by adding clay to limestone and then burning it, he could produce a material that hardened underwater. This discovery marked the return of concrete as a crucial building material, setting the stage for its development in the modern era. The 19th century was a period of rapid innovation in the field of concrete. In 1824, Joseph Aspton, an English bricklayer, patented Portland cement, which would become the foundation of modern concrete. Aspton created Portland cement by burning finely ground limestone and clay until the carbon dioxide was removed, leaving behind a fine powder. When mixed with water and aggregates, it produced a material that was stronger and more consistent than previous forms of concrete. The name Portland cement came from its resemblance to the limestone found on the Isle of Portland in England. The invention of Portland cement was a turning point in the history of concrete, as it provided the key ingredient needed to create durable and reliable building materials. As the 19th century progressed, Concrete continued to evolve with the development of reinforced concrete. In 1849, Joseph Monnier, a French gardener, 
began experimenting with embedding iron mesh in concrete to create stronger garden pots. He realized that by reinforcing the concrete with metal, he could significantly improve its tensile strength, making it suitable for a wide range of applications. Monier's innovation led to the use of reinforced concrete in larger structures such as bridges, buildings, and even water tanks. The combination of concrete's compressive strength and steel's tensile strength allowed engineers to design structures that could withstand greater loads and forces, paving the way for the construction of skyscrapers, long-span bridges, and other monumental feats of engineering. The 20th century saw concrete become the dominant building material worldwide, largely due to advancements in technology, construction techniques, and the increasing urbanization of society. During this time, concrete was further refined with the introduction of additives like plasticizers, accelerators, and retarders, which improved workability, setting times, and overall performance. The development of pre-stressed concrete in the 1930s and 1940s, where steel tendons are tensioned before the concrete is poured, enabled even larger and more complex structures to be built. Innovations in concrete mixtures, like the use of fly ash and slag as supplementary cementitious materials, also contributed to its durability and environmental sustainability. In addition to technological advancements, the versatility of concrete expanded as architects and designers explored its aesthetic possibilities. The brutalist architecture movement, popular in the mid-20th century, embraced the raw, unadorned nature of concrete, using it to create bold, sculptural forms. Iconic structures like Le Corbusier's Unite de Habitation and the Boston City Hall exemplify how concrete could be both functional and visually striking. This period highlighted concrete's ability to not only provide structural integrity, but also serve as an artistic medium. As the 21st century unfolds, the evolution of concrete continues, driven by sustainability concerns and the need for more resilient infrastructure. Traditional Portland cement production is energy-intensive and responsible for a significant portion of global CO2 emissions. As a result, researchers and engineers are exploring alternatives like geopolymer concrete, which uses industrial byproducts such as fly ash and slag, and carbon-negative concrete, which actually absorbs CO2 during its curing process. Self-healing concrete, incorporating bacteria that produce limestone to fill cracks, is another promising innovation that could extend the lifespan of structures and reduce maintenance costs. Moreover, 3D printed concrete is opening up new possibilities for construction, allowing for faster, more precise building with less waste. Concrete's journey from a rudimentary building material in ancient times to a highly engineered product in the modern era is a testament to human innovation. Its ability to adapt to different needs, environments, and technologies has cemented its place, literally and figuratively, in the history of civilization. Today, concrete is essential in virtually every aspect of our built environment, from housing and transportation infrastructure to dams, bridges, and skyscrapers. It is a material that continues to evolve, shaped by the challenges and opportunities of each era. As sustainability and resilience become increasingly important in construction, the future of concrete will likely see further innovations, ensuring that it remains at the forefront of modern building technology. The development and evolution of concrete is a fascinating narrative that mirrors the progress of human civilization. From the early mixtures used by ancient civilizations to the sophisticated composites of today, Concrete has played a pivotal role in shaping the world we live in. As technology advances and new challenges arise, concrete will undoubtedly continue to evolve, adapting to meet the needs of future generations while preserving its legacy as one of the most critical materials in human history. The story of concrete is far from over. It is an ongoing journey of discovery, innovation, and adaptation that reflects the ever-changing nature of our built environment. Thank you for watching. 
If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.